Okay, well today we're going to be working on the Xbox Slim 360. The uh, disc will not eject. I'll show you how to repair that, how to get the disc out as well as the get it aligned. I'll show you what I'm talking about in a minute. First, of course, put it right side up. What you want to do is take off a little panel where the hard drive goes into, put it to the side, take out the hard drive, put it to the side. And you want to use a flathead screwdriver, a small one. And what you're going to do is, if I can show you here, there's little tabs all the way around. And you want to peel them up. And keep going. You don't want to break the plastic. You know, you're going to go all the way around here. And then you flip it, flip it over again. And you're going to be doing the same thing on this side. And I'll just leave this recording while I'm doing it, so you can see. There's this one. That's the hard drive side. And again, there is another plastic piece that goes, you have to do it again, go all the way around. And there's little tabs, see if I can get some light on you. See these little tabs right in here? There's one right there that goes into this plastic here. There's one, two, three, four, five on the top, none on the side, and then five on the bottom corresponding. You want to just, like this, put your screwdriver in and see how that's bending a little bit there? You just want to keep working it, see, keep working it. Keep working it. Try not to break it. Do not break it. Take your time. Time is of the essence with this. Just be patient. If you have another screwdriver, another flathead, it would probably help. So you can leave it pried up at one end while you work on the other end. This is very flimsy plastic. Now, please keep in mind as well, this will void your warranty. So that side is now completed. Flip it over and we'll do the difficult side. There's that piece. And again, with the tabs, just like on the other side, take your time. There's no rush here. I know you're playing with the $200 machine or whatever it is now going rate, right, but there I got this end. There we go. Kind of like wiggle the screwdriver like this, walk it, and it will come. I promise you, it will come. not to bend it too much if it looks like it's being over excessive on one end go to the other end I'm just going to turn this around a little bit this way device here. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Keep working it around. Like I said, time is, er, patience is a virtue. That's a better saying for you there, isn't it? Patience is a virtue. Let's get just pried up a little bit more. I'm doing this in my garage, as you can see. This is a pick, a, it's like a dental pick, but it's for automotive. It helps out a lot. They're pretty cheap at Princess Auto. I'm 
you won't make as much marks as a screwdriver would. A screwdriver is quite fat on the end, where a dental pick is like a needle, a very hard steel. There we go. These light bulbs rattling. by little, like I said, take your time, it will come, it's not a race, well, turn it around again, so I'll try this side again, A very thin tin metal. Oh, looks like this went back in. There we go. Sorry about that. I got a phone call, and while I was uh, while I was on the phone call, I got it off. But yes, it just basically same thing. See, it's these tabs right here. Yeah, see that well. Oops. These tabs right there, where my finger is. That you gotta. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Uh, that you gotta peel back. And of course, then there's little push pins that go in on the bottom. Uh, one, two, three, four. They're little little, little snaps. Once you have that off, you're almost home free of getting this apart. Now, for the tricky icky part, gotta take this plastic piece off. This little ring that goes around both ends, you gotta also take off in order to get the cover, the top and bottom off. Once I find a better plan of action, oh, there we go. My lamp's in my face here. Just keep working it around. I grab the screwdriver. I was using a dental pick again. Like a, a whip. Come on, you little buddy. Rock and roll. Hmm. Why are you being so stubborn right now? There we go. There we go. Jeez. side is being a little difficult so what we'll do is we'll do the other side now there is also your ethernet card it is in here or your wi-fi sorry you might as well while you have those panels off you might as well take that off it's one screw which is a two millimeter hex head so keep that in mind put that aside and then you can just pinch it here, let me see. I can't see the camera angle you guys got there. Let's see if it's right here. It's right here. The hex head screw goes right into that plastic piece. I don't know if you guys can see. Let me bring it closer. Oh, it's too dark. Uh, 
it just goes right into that little plastic piece. You take the screw out. Here's the screw here. It's a two millimeter hex head. And then you can pull out the Wi-Fi card and put that aside. Give me one sec. Okay. Now, to get this outer ring off, like I was explaining before, there's one on this side and one on this side. Once we have this off, we can then battle the back. Once you pry the back up, now there's these little, you know, once I get this off, it will show you a lot better. Not right now, because you can't see it, but let me get this, these little covers off. It's been about a year since I've taken this apart, so I'm trying to refresh my memory on how they come. Oh yes, that's right. There we go. Let's see if I can bring you in a little closer. See that tab right there? And there's another one right down, whoops, right down in there. And another one on there, as well as on the corresponding on the top part. All you do is, let's see if I can do this with one hand. Actually, I'll just set it down. Fix the light. i fix the light. Okay, sorry about that. These tabs here, all you do is you lift up with your screwdriver, like that, and then pull pull the little uh, the little circle piece that I was pointing out that we need to take it off, and then pull it apart. I'll show you. I'll show you the further distance. So you can set up the camera. Excuse me. I'm just cut that part out, I guess. Like that. See? Cut it off. Put that to the side. And do the same thing on this side. Oh, Camera full function. So again, you're going to be doing the same thing on this side pulling the tabs that are snuck in behind here, here. All right, let me set the camera down a little bit here. Yeah, that'll work. I'm trying to get you guys a good angle, but it's making it very difficult for me to see what I'm doing. There we go. Those two are off. I'm just leave it up here, you get the gist of how that comes off. There we go. That piece is off now. And now, I'm going to do the back. The back, it's a little tricky. There is, on the side of the higher drive, there is a tab, same just like the ones you took off that are just like this, see? So those six corresponding tabs, just like how that one comes off, this one comes off as well. So you gotta pull it apart. I'm gonna need two hands for this, but you pull the, you apply the tab up or towards away from where the, it was resting, and you pry this apart a little bit and then work your way down the back. I think there's one, two, three. Let's check. I believe there is, I can't remember. It's been a while, so let's see here. Okay, so that one's good. And these, oh, there's two right here. They're very easy. One, right where the uh, Wi-Fi adapter was I had to switch cameras my memory card wore it on the other one so let's see if this one will work too okay so I've gotten I've gotten it pried apart here so you can see that 
and then I'll go back to where I was on the plug side where the, H, the hard drive plugs into. So now that that's a plug uh, a part, what I like to do is just stick a screwdriver like that so it won't go anywhere. And then grab your dental pick or screw, flathead screwdriver and pry apart. There's one more that's very difficult to get. And you'll notice how there's missing a sticker here. Well, you have to take that off in order to get at it. And that's what voids your warranty. That's how they're going to know that you are in your Xbox. So, let's leave that like that. So going to stick that one down in there like that. I'm going to push this down. There we go. I got it. Take the screwdrivers out. Don't let it snap back together. Oh, I almost did. And you can take your covers off. There's the bottom. That does not come apart as of yet. We need a screwdriver for this. Which is going to be the same screwdriver you just used for the Wi-Fi. And there is one, two, three, four, five, five screws you need to take up apart now. Take off. And they look like this. You take five of them out. One. That's what holds the top plate onto your uh, processor or the whole unit, I guess you can call it, the unit. The unit. Three. Four, they're all the same length, so don't worry about it in that aspect. Four and five. Now what I want you to be careful of and be mindful of you see this ribbon cable. Where my finger is, that little cable. That's what, uh, that's what is for your, your push button turn on and off and the eject. So you want to be mindful of that. If it comes apart, I'll show you how to, I'll show, I'll show you how to get that off. Just in case it does fall apart on you. Here, here, I'll show you. Because we're actually going to take that part off. Here's the ribbon. The holder there's a little clip all you do is pull it apart push it you'll see a little edge now it's a plastic clip what you do oh, the light sucks it's so neat here see the little indentation right there a little bump all you do is push it this way towards well uh, just yeah push it this way and then this ribbon will come right out like such. See? Oh, lighting sucks. Uh, but yes. Ribbon's out, so you don't have to worry about that now. Uh, breaking on you, because if that breaks, you will not be able to turn your Xbox on. And that will take off your front panel. Again, like I explained, that ribbon is right here. That's the ribbon. And it connects to your push button. Here is what I was talking about. See how this goes in and out? That's a lock. See, I pushed it in. You can use your thumbnail even. I'm going to use the pick. And you pull it out. Pull a little bit out there. What you do is you slide this down, the pick down a little further. and Or a flathead screwdriver. And pull it out and even further. And then lift it up. And the ribbon will pull, come right out very easily. Okay, so now that that's off, and that's off, 
I'll lift it up that way, but we're okay. We're okay. There's the, uh, the bottom. So now, what we're left with, let me put this back to where it was. Let me explain. That's where the hard drive plugged into, the external hard drive. Here's your cooling fan because the processor is under there. All this is is a CD-ROM. Or a blue, it's actually, a, I think it's a Blu-ray disc, if I remember correctly. Ah, I can't remember. But all you do to unplug it is unplug the power cable back there and the uh, SATA hard or SATA cable here. So you just take those cables off. One. Uh, Trying to do this one-handed. Two. And this will come right out and here's basically your Xbox now this is what we're going to be taking apart there is a vibration grommets on the back this rubber grommet uh, you can just take that off very carefully rest to the side flip this over because we're going to be wanting to get at the Philip screws here four of them Rest this over here while I do that. Grab my Phillips screwdriver. One. Two. And four. Oh yes, that's right. There is a little, I don't even know what you can call this, a little, uh, it's for, for so no, no dust can get inside where your CDs go, where your games go. It'll be mindful of that because it sticks, it's sticky. You want to make sure that it comes with the one end when you pry this apart. the back of it and let me take the other half off now so we need to get out the the gears oh yes this comes out tricky what you do is you pull this if I remember correctly yeah what you do is lift this part up pinch it like this and this and hook pull up and then out and slide it out of the case like so and that's out the part what we're going to be getting at is on oh, there's that iron there is the the um the eject wheels that come out of alignment now if i can just get this to unclip I'll show you what I'm talking about because it's not ejecting. Where is it? Where is that catch? Okay, well, my battery's died. I had to charge my camera up. And in the meantime, I put this back together. I do apologize, but there's a wheel here and a wheel here. When you slide this tray out, what you do is you turn the wheels counterclockwise so when the tray is fully extended, it now knows it's in its true position to be extracted, the, the uh, tray to be out. And then you can just slide the tray back into place now we can start assembling it again. Now assembly is pretty much the reverse of what we just did. And I'll just set this here while I put it back together.
Put your dust cover back on. Your dust shield or foam, as you may. It goes around the, the tray for your, where your discs go in. Now to put this back on. Slides in like this. These tabs, these tabs are above the aluminum. It slides right in like that. Give it a little push. Make sure it's sitting all the way at the back. This side very nice. I need a flathead screwdriver and it up just a little bit. Oh, that's where it is. Okay. There we go. Like so. Now, I'm going to put this cover on. Oh, where am I going? I'm going to do this. Like so. So it's all going to go back to uh, together a lot easier. It just came apart. I'll tell you that. Like that. Now we put the screws back in. Four screws. Don't, you don't have to tighten them right up. It's not going to go anywhere. It's not like it's an automotive vehicle or you're doing brakes or steering or ball joints or tie rods. This is just a CD player for your Xbox. There is a little bit of vibration, but you don't have to wrench these screws down. You do, and you're going to run into a problem. I trust me of that. You don't want to wrench anything down when there's plastic involved. Let's go tight. And then a little nudge. Don't tighten them all until you have all the screws in. And that's it. Put the anti-vibrating doohickey they got here, the high-tech doohickey. <laughs> Put that back on. You have to make notes, make notes. You'll see that uh, if your Xbox is a one year old, you'll see exactly where the, this rubber how it has to be installed because you can see a fade in the aluminum. Like so. Once that is done, you can grab your Xbox unit. Make sure you put it in the right way. Which the way to put it in is the SATA cable, which is the red cable, plugs in, in the black plug and the power cable plugs in the white plug. The SATA cable, which is your data cable, plugs in to the left of the Xbox. Plug that in. Like so. Put in the power cable. Like so. And it fits in there quite nicely on the ground. Just like that. Make sure that uh, everything is in place. And uh, Bob Drumple. Huh. So now, what we're going to do is uh, assemble the, that's the top, that's just going to sit there like that, it's going to sit on top of there like that, and then we can put in the, the HDMI and the AV and the auxiliary cover. Goes, you'll see how that goes on. It goes only one way. There's no mixing that up. And it just sits in there. Basically, it sits in there until you can screw in the 
top portion. Actually, I, I lie, there's two clips, two little clips that you slide into. And it just sits there until you squish the top on. And the rest is quite easy until you get to the data cable for the power switch, which I'll show you in a second once I get this all lined up.